So we're going to take the derivative of the quantity 1 minus cone of sine x over sine x to the third power. This is going to be a chain rule. We can see we have an inside function in the parentheses. So the first thing we'll do is pull the, the exponent out front, leave the inside alone, 1 minus cosine of x all over sine x, and decrease the exponent by 1. Now, we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside, and that's where things are going to get maybe a little messy because we're going to need quotient rule for that. So, this part is done. So we have 3, let's leave this in alone for right now, minus 1 minus cosine x over sine x squared. And now let's set up our quotient rule. It's the denominator, so sine x times the derivative of the numerator, while well, the derivative is derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of negative cosine x is sine x. Minus, now we're going to have the numerator, so 1 minus cosine x times the derivative of the denominator, the derivative of sine is cosine, excuse me, is cosine x, all over the denominator squared, which will give us a sine squared x in the denominator. Now let's go ahead and do a little bit of simplifying because there is some stuff we can do with this uh, quotient rule piece over here. So we're going to leave this alone for right now. We may come back to it and do some more. So 1 minus cosine of x squared over sine x we have the derivative. We're just seeing if we can make this thing a little bit easier to deal with. Sine x times sine x gives us a sine squared x in the numerator. Now here, I'm going to distribute this cosine x to these two pieces, but I'm not going to distribute the negative, yeah, just to make sure we keep everything clear. So we have a cosine x minus cosine squared x all over that sine squared x and these parts are multiplied just to make sure now in that second part we're gonna go ahead and distribute that negative and we'll have some be able to simplify that numerator just a little bit more so we're gonna have the sine squared x minus cosine x and here it's going to become a plus cosine squared x. So we have a Pythagorean identity in that numerator because we have a sine squared plus a cosine squared. We know that from trig that that's equal to 1. So when I rewrite this in my next line, I've got 3 times 1 minus cosine x over sine x oops not squared at least not yet sine x that whole thing squared here I'm gonna have a 1 minus cosine x and down here I've got a sine squared x so if we look at what we have we can simplify this and make it a little bit cleaner because I could rewrite that numerator as 1 minus cosine x the quantity squared and the denominator as sine squared x simply breaking this the square over the quotient and here we have a 1 minus cosine x on top and a sine squared x on bottom. So cleaning this up a little bit that's going to give us a 1 minus cosine x the quantity cubed on top and on bottom we'll get a sine to the fourth x. So we can actually do some nice cleanup on this one.